hi guys welcome back to my channel my name is georges and this is georges fragrance world i haven't filmed in so long yeah forgive me i really miss you guys too so hi yeah, i want to see my dress like it's absolutely gorgeous um i got it from um dealer jerk on instagram she has amazing clothes so make sure to check her out i'm gonna put her link up there and then down in the description as well so today i'm gonna to do my first ever tag video i was tagged by um paula banks yeah i'm gonna link her channel down below as well she's so so amazing like the frat community is actually very amazing like everybody's so nice so lovely like yo it's one of the best families to belong to so yeah go frat fam so for my first tag video i'm gonna be doing um perfume for each woman inside me relax and enjoy this one so number one is the weird or odd or eccentric woman and i'm gonna go for weird or odd so um perfume for that will be for me will be aura by thierry mugler or mugler as it's now is or mugler whichever it is so this is a green you know very green perfume green vanilla perfume i am absolutely adore this green vanilla with some mint it's extremely beautiful and i really i really adore the scent but most people actually feel some say it smells like a salad some say it smells like vegetables one of my friends actually thinks it smells like rotten perfume so yeah i guess it's a bit weird to a lot of people but i absolutely love it and when i wear it makes me feel a certain kind of way you know like unique because I know a lot of people wouldn't smell like this. Yeah, so for the weird odd one, I'm going to go with Aura by Mugler. Okay, on the bed you go. Now, um, the next one is Superhero. So, unfortunately, I don't really have any fragrances that make me feel like a superhero yet. So, yeah, I know. For that one, we're going to skip. And we're moving to the third one, Queen of Royale. Now for that one, I went with Bulgari Rose Essential by Bulgari and there are two. First Kiss Exclusive by Layered. Yeah. So, um, I mean, those who know First Kiss Exclusive or knows the Layered brand, they know this is a dupe for um, Delina Exclusive and you know that is Royal. So definitely this. This is a very beautiful scent as well. I don't know. It's just Royal it's really nice it's really pretty it's out there but not so loud it's not so much but it's just as it is like you know as i, I just feel like it's royal because i don't think royal is so you know out there or so you know unique royal is just real it's just royal so for me when i wear this it makes me feel like that and hmm this girl right here like I feel there is something royal about this. It's not sweet at all. At all. It's just a beautiful woman scent. This is Bulgarian rose. This is just a beautiful, pretty princessy. I don't even think this is princessy. This is actually queen herself. Yeah. So when I talk about queen royal, these two make me feel like that. So yeah. Now we move on to um, romantic. Hmm. For romantic, I think I'm going to go with my OG. <laughs> I'm going to go with Hypnotic Poison by Christian Dior. So this is a very, um, you know, this is like my ever, ever favorite. Although like now, you know, I'm giving it a break because, you know, even we frag heads, we get tired of fragrances sometimes. Not because they're not good anymore, but simply because you want to try out other things, you know. And I know this OG in and out, so it's okay if I put her aside for a while and then try other things. That doesn't mean I'm over her. I'm going to go with this for romantic. It's strong. It's beautiful. It's like I ex explained in my very first video. It's a cloud wrapping sweet delicious scent and you know after testing a couple of fragrances okay i'm beginning to understand more about fragrance and i feel like this is more of an intimate scent although like it is so out they can still wear it out and all of that but this 
okay and don't forget like this is really strong so you don't wear so much of it when you wear so much of it you're getting intimate you're gonna push the person out you're gonna check the person out so just a little of this goes a long way with romantic mm, i'm talking too much romantic and put poison by christian dior ably assisted by olympia intense by paco raban i feel the scent is also very romantic yeah it's a salty vanilla scent with a lot of amber and it's really nice it's sometimes break my heart that the projection is not so much because something so good like i always say everybody should be able to smell it people do smell it on you but it's more you know a bit closer than father so romantic i'm gonna go with this as well so it's gonna be supporting hypnotic poison by Dior. now next one we have nature so for the nature i'm gonna go with them um, okay so nature i'm thinking something motherly I don't really have a lot of mature scents that I enjoy, but this particular fragrance, some people might even consider juvenile, but then I would choose for natural because I feel like it is not offensive at all. It's something you can actually wear around the house to perform your motherly duties or your nurturing duties. It's not even going to bother your baby. It's not going to bother your kids. It's something that everybody can like enjoy in the family, in the home, get used to because it's not so much, it's not too little, and it's just there, okay? I actually wear the scent to sleep a lot, and it brings me a lot of comfort. So yeah, that is um, Intimate Fantasy by Britney Spears. I know you're surprised, yes, but for nature, I'm going to go with this. Okay, next up, we have um, Mysteriosa. So for the mysterious woman, hmm, I was torn between two, but then I'll explain to you why I didn't pick the other one and I picked this one instead. So mysterious, I'm thinking of like, who's that girl? La 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 who's that? You know, like mysterious, nobody really knows what it is. Nobody knows who she is, you know, that kind of thing. And you know, as much as I'm thinking of presence, I'm thinking of something that is not so normal that people are not used to. So I'm going to go with Gucci Rush. Back me, but I'm going with Gucci Rush from Mysterious. Because I feel like, um, you know, this scent is actually very mysterious. Not in the oriental, mysterious, dark way, no. But it's quite inexplicable. Anybody who has smelled this knows it is. It smells of plastic, some pineapple. It's crisp. But I feel like anybody who walks into the party or into the club wearing this and like it's all over the place is like, who's that girl? So for me, yeah. Mm -mm. Mysterious, I'm going with Gucci Rush. My choice. Now, the next person is the adventurous Georgette. And with that, I'm going with Chloe Nomad. Now, let me explain to you why I'm going with Nomad for adventurous. I feel like Nomad is um, it's free spirited. It's um, it's indoors, it's outdoors, it's in the rain, it's in the sun, it's all over the place. Spring, you know, the times where you can actually travel, move around, explore. This I don't think will go so well with winter and fall. Maybe the mornings of fall, yes, but yeah that's how i feel about this one i feel when i think of chloe nomad okay looking at a bottle i think of cowgirl i think of mountains i think of deserts i don't know whether it's a brown thing here but i don't know that's how i think that's what i think of when i think of nomad and the smell it gives me a picture of a scenery of green you know although the bottle is giving me desert vibes the smell is giving me spring vibes you know, green, grasses, trees, birds, forests, streams. Yeah. So I'm going to go with this for adventurers. And it's also a bit masculine for me. For me, it smells a bit masculine. So I feel like that's the boisterous, adventurous side of me. Yeah. So Nomad would do for adventurers. Now for creative, I'm not so sure any of my perfumes make me feel creative yet. So, for superhero and creative, I have a new task. It's giving me a reason to shop. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm going to look for perfumes that make me feel like a superhero and perfumes that make me feel creative. So, yeah, for creative, I have nothing. Then we move on to cheerful. 
Now, Cheerful is like my happy place. Cheerful makes me happy. I don't have my Cheerful perfume here. I think I went to church. Let me grab it just a second. Okay, guys, so I'm back. So, for my happy perfume, I'm gonna go with DNG's Limpratrice. Now, this perfume, yeah, it's, it's a beautiful, fruity, juicy scent. It just makes me happy anytime I smell it. Like, it really does. And you know, this has actually made me want to look for more happy, per you know, happy perfumes, happy place perfumes. You know, because there are times you're like, yo, you're just not in the mood to smell bougie. You're not in the mood to smell sweet. You're not in the mood to be delicious. You're not in the mood to feel bossy. All you want to do is just get up and go, you know. Mm. And the spirit of this is just going to put you in the right. I actually woke up feeling like this today, so. Just grab this to church and mm. this actually lasts me the whole day too, you know, like a good ten hours. Yeah. Okay, let me be let me be let me be fair. Like a good eight hours. It does give me like eight hours plus. Let's move on. I'm actually using a book. I know mm. for my list. Nobody can catch me for that. I haven't committed a crime, have I? It's a YouTube crime. Okay, so for the next one, we have um, Mystical. Now, for Mystical, hmm, I know you're going to beat me up with this one because this is a perfume I have not liked. And I still i am not sure whether I like it, but it does fit the profile of Mystical. So, yeah. I chose it. I know Abinabwa will be looking at me and she'd be like, hmm, madam. But I mean, I'm still not in love with it. I don't like it like that, but it is mystical. Let me stop talking too much. I'm talking about Alien by Theory Mugler. There's something mystical about this fragrance. Mm. Everybody seems to love it. I don't. I don't know why. I remember I wore this, like, you know, this week, actually, I tried liking Alien, so I wore it, like, the whole week, and there was one time I actually went into the office before I sprayed it, and mm, after I sprayed it, compliments, compliments, compliments. So maybe the compliments is making me begin to like it, but I don't know, but it is mystical. A lot of jasmine and mystery. Not mystery, mystery, mystery. Uh -huh. I told you there was a confusion with my mystery and mystical now. Mm mystical this is like witchcraft in a bottle yeah so let's move to the next one seductress so for seductress hmm i went with scandal by jean paul gaultier yeah straight out queen of the night for me scandal i feel like it's very seductive it's deep it's dark it draws you in no need to show you more if you know of any other seductress perfumes, link in the comment section. I want to know. Mm, but I still love this one for seduction. And finally, independent. Now, when I thought independent, I felt, I immediately thought of like boss chick, you know. I don't need no man. So meaning like I'm with a man and a woman at the same time. So, so what? Yes, you got to unisex. Definitely unisex. And something powerful, something strong, something obviously unisex, but very sweet. You know, something enchanting, something bold, sweet, warm. Definitely unisex. More masculine than feminine, but still sweet, you know. And the winner was Instant Crush by Manser. Yeah, that was my choice for independent woman. Oh, I adore this scent. You know, when you even smell it from the bottle, you get like more of like a masculine than a unisex vibe, you know? This is very masculine. But this is also unisex. It's opening, like, it opens up with this um, sweetness and ginger and, you know, everything all together and i absolutely adore the scent so that will be for my list of perfume for each woman inside me so thank you so much for the tag paula 
I promise to try to keep up with the videos. Like, forgive me. I know there's so many videos to do. There are so many things to talk about. Please let me know in the comment section whatever you think. And then your choice for all of these women that I mentioned. I'll link them down below so that I can also, you know, pick up on them. If anybody is watching this video and you're a reviewer, I tag you. I tell all my friends here on YouTube and my new friends that are watching it that are going to become my friends very soon. Please be just subscribe. It really helps me. Like this video if you do like the content. If you don't or you find anything else that I should have or should not have done, please make sure to tell me in the comment section. It's very much appreciated. Please, please, please subscribe. I love you so much and see you in my next video. Bye. Mwah.